Yo, what up world, 502 King Paul. So quick story leading to the topic of today's video. A couple of years ago, I went to the dentist, right? Because I had let this tooth in my mouth get so bad that I had to get it pulled. And I couldn't get into my regular dentist. So I went to one of those emergency dental care places. So I get there and the dentist walks in. And the first thing that I notice is he seems extremely young, like extremely young. You know, at this time, I'm probably about 27, somewhere around there. And uh, I mean, he looked a few years younger than me. So, you know, I was a little bit caught off guard there when I seen him. But I'm like, eh, whatever. You know, he knows what he's doing. He, he went to school for this. Okay, so we get into the procedure and I'm just noticing it's just sad at the sad at the sad that this guy is new to this whole thing and he gets working on my mouth. He gives me the anesthesia and uh, starts working on my tooth, right? And he's yanking, he's putting these tools in my mouth, yanking, 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 chipping away, yanking, yanking. And man, this procedure went on so long. I kid y'all not, the anesthesia's wearing off and I'm starting to feel everything at this point. And he's yanking, yanking. I, I look up at his face and he's looking nervous. I'm looking at him like, God, please help me. Get me out of this man's chair. And he's yanking, yanking. His assistant's right there with him. And he's looking nervous. And it, it was just a horrible, horrible experience, right? So we get done with the procedure. Eventually, I look over and it just looks like he's did full-on surgery. And he has all these tools laid out. He's... Has, I mean, he used so many different tools in my mouth, y'all. It was crazy. And it, it took him forever to get that tooth out of my mouth. I'm a person who wants to live a long, good life. But it was times during that procedure, I'm like, God, please just, just take me up out of here, man. Take me up out of here. Uh, knock me out. I just wanted to fall out from the pain, man. It was so bad. But leaving from that situation... I couldn't help but think that this may have been his very first tooth extraction. I mean, he seemed, the look on his face, the assistant's face, and how horrible I felt, I couldn't help but think that this had to be his first tooth extraction that he ever did in his life. I say that to say, man, when you go through painful situations in life, when you have things that you're dealing with, battling in life that you're trying to get through, you want somebody there this has some experience. You want somebody to be there to help you that's been there before. You don't want this to be their first go around. I know if I'm fighting a drug addiction then and I go to some treatment center, I don't want to hear from somebody that just read out of a book, you know, and went to school and got a certificate and now they feel like they can tell me how I can battle my drug addiction. I want to sit down with someone who battled that same addiction. If I'm a crackhead, I want to talk to someone who used to be a crackhead and I want them to tell me what it is that they did to come out of that because nothing beats experience, man. Another example, man, like if I'm a street dude and, you know, I'm stuck in the streets, but, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about getting out, but it's so hard, you know, I'm trying to find another way in life. I don't want to hear from somebody that's never been there before. I want to hear from somebody that's been there that knows what it is that I've been through, that knows that, you know, some of the obstacles that I'm facing and what it is that I have to overcome because it's not as easy as just saying leave the streets when you're inside of that life, man. You have to talk to somebody that's been there before. I say all this to say that each and every one of us has a unique story in our life. Each and every last one of us has went through different trials and testimonies that, you know, some people could only imagine. And so many of us keep those stories to ourselves. Now, we don't want to talk to somebody that we see in the same situation. And they hold it in partially because, you know, they may feel a level of embarrassment. They hold it in sometimes because they don't want to feel like a hypocrite. But you're not being a hypocrite by sharing your story to help out other people, man. You're actually being a responsible human being. I personally believe that when you go through things in life, it's your responsibility to share it with someone else that you can help them and help them out in their journey that we all call life, man. Because a lot of people, you know, they just want to hold on to their the traumas, hold on to their pain. 
not realizing that even though you may have overcame it, even though you may have overcame it through whatever means, you know, someone else can benefit from hearing your story, man. I've run across so many people in life where you talk to them and you start hearing things that happen in their life and you're like, damn, that could be a book. That could be a movie. You know, you could really help out other people by sharing your story and telling what it is that you went through in life. And once again, you're not being a hypocrite. You know, you have no reason to be embarrassed. God gives us these trials and different things that we go through in life so that we can help out other people. So I just want to put out this video, man, to encourage other people that if you're going through something in life or you've been through something in life, man, share your story because you never know whose life you could be changing, whose life you could be inspiring. You could be inspiring the next person for them to live a better life than what they have. And sometimes, man, people don't even know that they have a problem until somebody comes out with the same issue and they say, that, hey, I had this, this same battle that I was going through and it was an issue. It was a problem. But it's nothing like hearing it from somebody who's been in the same shoes, man. That's all I want to say. And hopefully this video is inspiration, motivation for y'all to share y'all life stories and help out someone else, man. You never know who you could be helping. It's 502 King Power, man. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. I'm out.